Yeah. Our commitment to fairness and uh, compassion extends to everyone, regardless of their abilities. However, the proposed tiered payments based on the perceived work capacity have significant flaws. They lack meaningful consultation, Minister, with the disabled individuals, the very people most affected by these policies. Without their input, we risk overlooking critical aspects of their needs and experiences. Uh, these tiered payments fail to lift dis disabled individuals out of poverty. Imagine navigating a complex system where your financial well-being hangs on the balance for those with uh, those with invisible or uh, episodic uh, disabilities. This process becomes even more challenging, uh, impacting mental and physical health. Universal payments offer fair solution uh, by providing consistent support to all disabled people and carers. We create a safety net. Uh, they can create a safety net that does not, doesn't discriminate based on perceived abilities. Disabilities is diverse. And while I'm on disabilities, in only a few 30 seconds I've left, I'd like to talk about the dis disabled search. Uh, certificates for people trying to get disabled uh, search for cars. Uh, it's impossible to get that. E even if you're in incapacitated, you can't get it. It's an insane situation that you uh, put in a scheme that doesn't work, Minister. And heads need to roll. It did roll before when it was brought into court. And also about school bus and SNAs. No extra pay for those people who have been working for the last, no extra pay for the last four years, up to six hours every morning from six until ten, and in the evening again. No pay midterm, no pay Easter, Christmas or holidays. These people look after uh, those with disabilities. It's unfair. Thank you.